Welcome back to the OG training vlogs from earlier in the year. So I haven't done one of these in a while, but I uh, remember to take the camera from the office yesterday and I got a nice little session. So this is one of the kind of three main sessions I talk about. So the three main snatch and clean and jerk sessions that I do where it'll be full snatch and full clean and jerk. The line is a little bit blurred with the snatch accessory stuff. Uh, some of the, like for example the day one of every week in the snatch day will be snatch plus low hang snatch uh, so I mentioned the last training vlog I uh, I tweaked my wrist slightly on that 140 snatch I did and at the time it didn't seem very relevant but uh, because there was no pain in the clean and jerks after but subsequently all of last week there has been maybe 7 or 8 out of 10 pain on my left wrist and a little bit on the right wrist I think I know the source of the pain. I think it's coming from a some use of just less than ideal barbells, and I think it just kind of caught myself in one session. So at the moment, I had to bring my grip in a lot, so maybe two or three inches closer, so you can see why the lift looks a little bit, little bit off, just not as sharp as they should be. Uh, you can see the second pull is a little bit weird. The bar looks like it's swinging away from me, and it looks like slightly uncomfortable overhead, partly because that's mostly from the pain in my wrist rather than the actual mobility aspect. Although you can see the barbell is just very, very far away from my head. It just doesn't look that great. So I kind of felt out the lifts yesterday. I did 100 for a couple of sets and I felt good enough. Luckily, the I was kind of resetting slightly in my training block. So the weights were a lot lighter. So I would have liked to have done rather than increase weight so much. I would have liked to have done a lot more reps yesterday. So I would have liked to have done maybe one plus two or two plus two on this low hang snatch. So here's one fifteen. Uh, these felt okay, just a little bit of pain to be honest. And obviously the contact point is a little bit lower because my grip is narrower. So the lifts are just a little bit off. Uh, some novelty is fine in training. It's 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 not a huge deal. I can still get the weights done. So something different. It's not a massive deal. But you can see I'm pulling my shoulders back too early. Uh, one of the things I was doing was actually slowing down the first pull. I was listening to Lu Zhaojun talking about, I think he said who he copied when he was younger. He said he lay how, but he also talked about, I like to control the first pull. So I like to try things when I hear them. Uh, obviously something I've done before a lot, but it was just something I, I just kind of tickled my brain during that session. So just really focused on really slow first pull for some of the warm-up lifts just to, you know, feel it out. It's always good to do different things, learn different ways. You kind of calibrate your own brain when you're learning skills when you go from one end of the extreme to the other so normally lifting quite fast slow it down an awful lot let you feel out those positions as you know i do a lot of pause lifts so the um the slowing down is similar to that pause it's essentially is demonstrating control and if you're in control then you can do a lot more with heavier weights so you don't want to ever be out of control so again the first day the first of those kind of three snatch and clean and jerk days or the primary days i would call them in my head would be mostly volume lighter volume so today was two plus one so two obviously two clean and jerks two cleans and one jerk and i worked up to 140 for two plus one uh, luckily there's zero pain in the clean and jerks which is great and i jerk i'm getting happier with my jerk my jerk is coming back slightly since i've been doing more front squats more volume on it it's not as good as it could be but it's feeling tighter in the dip and drive and i'll show you a little exercise i do at the end to kind of will assist this a little bit so clean was a little bit off just kind of slow into the barbell and a little bit of a slow pull the 140 two plus one was actually probably the best set in terms of clean and jerks I was uh, happy enough with that. Uh, not as good since I did the 170, but they're okay. I just kind of last focus on the main thing I should be focusing on at the moment is just getting under very, very fast. Literally, I'm thinking about getting under the barbell as soon as it passes my knee. Um, so you can see I'm just a little bit forward in that dip and drive. Lastly then, just literally first session, just kind of Jimmy rigged a belt squat system. So we're looking at doing something kind of cool with this. So I have basically half the collar of a barbell, welded onto a ring with a clip and i just literally use the toe strap and uh got some pumps in my quads all right thanks for watching guys